Mitchell, from the moment I met you, I felt like I had known you my whole life. Since that day, our love has continued to grow, and I can't wait to see where life takes us. You are my best friend, my closest confidant, and my favorite person in the whole world. I love you so much, and I'm so excited and blessed to be your wife. You are, and forever will be, the joy of my life. Dear Kellen, I've been thinking about this moment for a long time. You are my anchor during turbulent times, so I'm happy to have this moment with you to ground me during the craziness of this week. I am so proud to be your partner for these last eight years, and I am even prouder to stand before all of the people we love and make our partnership permanent. You are an amazing person in mind, body, and spirit. I am so thankful to be your best friend. You. gather in the presence of God in this beautiful place to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Mitchell and Kellen, to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessing on them. God created us for marriage and that you as husband and wife may help and comfort each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, all the days of your lives. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery to which two are joined and become one just as Christ is one with the church. <laughs> we rejoice that marriage is given by God, blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ, and sustained by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, let marriage be held in honor by all. Mitchell, understand that God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage. Do you affirm your intention and desire to enter into this covenant? If so, say, I do. I do. Hey, Kellen, <laughs> understand that God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage. Do you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this covenant? If so, say, I do. I do. Mark and Shanna, you've been married for 32 years and Bob and Lori for 38 years. Kellen and Mitchell have been blessed to grow up with you and the examples of what you have given them. May your marriages grow and blossom in the years to come. Will you take this moment to recommit to each other, to promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be loving and faithful husbands and wives? If so, say, we will. We will. We will. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God abides in us, and His love is perfected in us. Your passion for one another is kindled in very specific ways. It could be a blanket of hot chocolate sitting by a lake and talking. It could be admiring something about each other in the way that you compete in volleyball or skiing. You've won each other, you are here today, don't forget to keep winning each other. There's another kind of love that really gives passion its fullness, and that's that committed love we read about in the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13. Love is patient and kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Love does not rejoice in wrongdoing but rejoices in truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. May God bless you and keep you. May the sun of many years shine on you both. 
May the love that you obviously have for one another hold you close and grow over time. May God guide you on the journey together. My hope is that your dreams come true. And when they don't, may you comfort one another. And then may new dreams arise in their place. So that long, long years from this afternoon and evening, you'll be able to look at each other just as you do right now and say this, because of you, I lived the life I always wanted to live. Because of you, I became the person I always wanted to be. I, Mitchell, take you, Kellen, to be my wedded wife, and I do promise and covenant for God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. I, Kellen, take you, Mitchell, to be my wedded husband. Promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. Let me be the first to introduce to you Kellen and Mitchell Bailey. You may kiss one another.
has always been a sweetheart. And these two belong together. They're even going to go to Tahoe. And that's where we went when, for our wedding too. After our wedding, and then we had to come back to the west to pitch a baseball game. <laughs>